Okay. Hello, everybody. This is Håkan from Salem, Finland. And today here with a new episode from Camera Corner. It's winter outside. It's minus five and, and snowing. So not a lot of boating material being created right now, but great time here to actually do some information also about the gear that I use. So what I wanted to talk to you about today is actually batteries. Uh, so BLH1 batteries, which is the standard battery type then for uh, Olympus EM1, Mark II, and I think Mark III at least, perhaps some other Olympus model takes the same battery. So this thing started actually this summer when, when I was wanting to do some slightly longer time lapses. And I discovered that you know, a single battery in the camera didn't give me that many minutes of uh, time lapse photography. So I started to think about how to how to get some more or longer time lapses done. Uh, one of the solutions to that is the uh, small rig BB50 battery that I just recently reviewed. What I then actually ended up doing was testing uh, four different types of BLH batteries and actually two different uh, Olympus sort of own batteries. They're the same type. So um, let's check out the batteries. So here's the selection of, of batteries that I'm going to be testing. So I have two standard Olympus batteries that can with, come with the camera. Uh, as I bought the camera second hand, they're a bit different age. So, so this one is from the end of the 2018, and this one is actually from 2016. So they're already quite a few years old, but they seem to be working okay. Uh, they are rated for 12.8 watt hours. Then I have a battery from a company called Patona. Uh, it's rated for 15.1 watt hours. And then I have two batteries that are actually, they, they look exactly the same. So I assume that they're from the same company making batteries, but this one is rated at 12.8. So the same as the standard uh, BLH one. And, and this other one is actually rated at 16.7 watt hours. So, so it should actually be a lot more powerful than, than, than the others. So how did I then actually want to test this thing? Uh, so so as the whole thing kind of started with me thinking about how to do time lapses, then I think it's pretty natural that I'm using time-lapse performance as a way of also comparing the batteries. So, so what I did was, was actually then uh, <clears throat> set up time-lapses, set the, the number of frames to 999, the maximum one, and then actually then shooting one frame per minute. And then by, by then counting or, or seeing how many frames were actually then shot, and then that gives me a sort of an indication of, of how well the battery performs. There's going to be some details to that, but we'll see that later. So then, so let's see then what, what happened. I have here an Excel sheet with the results. So I'll explain to you the test through this sort of first example. This is one of the Olympus batteries, the one made in 2018 and rated for 12.8 watt hours. So when I then uh, shot from, with a full battery, a time lapse, I actually got 130 shots. And, you know, the, the, the time lapse ran then for a little bit more than uh, two hours. The interesting thing now that I then discovered is that Actually, the time lapse doesn't use up all the battery. It it stops somewhat before you know the battery runs out, and, and actually the how much is left in the battery actually varied quite a lot depending on what 
batteries I was using. So so for the both the Olympus batteries, you know, I had roughly ten percent left after the time lapse, and then for the other batteries, I, I actually had more left. So they used up less of the battery during the time lapse. Okay, so if I then compensate this, so I have the 130 shots and I now compensate it for this sort of the fact that there was still 10% battery left. So had the time lapse been able to use up all the power in the battery, I mean, deplete the battery to 0%, then I could have then, you know, assuming that it's linear, then, then that would have given me 144 uh, shots. And then if I then compare this number of shots, the 144, to the rated watt hours of the battery, then, then I get that I get roughly 11 shots per watt hour. And this was actually quite consistent across all the batteries, as you can see. Then the last aspect then is to, to think about this in terms of price performance. So the standard battery, Olympus battery in Finland costs roughly, uh, you know, I can get it for just under 80 euros if I'm lucky. So if I'm sort of comparing, then I'm comparing now to how much would sort of a uh, hundred shots cost? So, so, so the sort of the comparative price is for a hundred shots here. So, so to get the hundred shots, the relative price is then in the order of about 55, 57 euros. So, so the, all the battery performed slightly worse. Uh, you can see that I got eight shots left, but the fact that it was almost two years, almost yeah, two and a half years older, and and so I, I still think that this is quite quite good performance. The number of shots per watt hour is still roughly the same. So this this was the Olympus battery. So then if I go and look at the Patona battery, then that was rated for fifteen point one watt hours. It's newer than the two Olympus batteries. So from that perspective, it shouldn't at least perform worse. But actually, I could only get 101 shots out of that. And, you know, it ran for, you know, about a, an hour and three quarters. Uh, and in this case, it used up 81% of the battery. So I had 19% left in the battery at the end, and end of the time lapse session. Uh, so kind of comparative performance here is still quite poor. So uh, for the full battery, considering that it's actually bigger, I, I would only get 125 shots. And this, in terms of shots per watt hour, the Patona battery was about 30% worse than all the others. So, so the, the sort of the, how it's made, how it's built, the Patona battery certainly doesn't look like a very good battery in that sense. I also actually have two NPF batteries, or actually nowadays just one, because I bought a, a few for the uh, for my uh, uh, on-camera monitor, and actually one of the Patona batteries just, you know, a week or two after the warranty went out, it just went like, okay, I'm not going to, you know, get, you, you can't charge me anymore. And, and of course, the seller was then, no, 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 you know, I'm not going to exchange it because it was, the, you know, the one or two weeks over. So I definitely cannot recommend anything from, from Patona. My experiences with them is pretty poor. Price performance wise still, because it's cheaper than the Olympus one, so it's doing better than, than the Olympus one, but clearly not as good as our surprise winners. So these two no-name batteries from a company, I don't know what company, I mean, they even came in a totally white sort of cardboard box, so, so there was no print on the box as well. Uh, so, so the bigger one, the one that's rated for 16.7 watt hours, I bought from a discount online store in Finland called Hobby Hall, and it only cost 20 euros, very cheap. But performance was actually 
very much in line with the post that what hours uh, it didn't give me that many time-lapse shots so 126 running for a little over two hours but as I said you know the interesting thing is for both of these batteries you know at the end of the time-lapse it still has 30% left can't really explain why it's so big and why they're so consistent you know I've, I've done multiple runs of, of time lapses with these batteries and every single time you know they end up with with 30 percent left which i find is quite interesting okay still if considering this so i would get 180 shots from a sort of a full battery if it could use up 100 percent and uh, shots per post at watt hours is exactly in line with with the olympus and the other batteries and because it only cost me 20 euros and this is clearly the price performance winner so so it's about one fifth of the relative price compared to the olympus batteries and and one third compared to the patona and also about twice as cheap as, as this other one so the other battery that looked exactly the same but was then posted for 12 to 8 what hours not surprisingly then it, it gave the fewest shots ran only for a little bit over one and a half hours again due to the fact that it cut off at at 70 percent but you know again compensating for that it, it's still the sort of the, the energy content of the battery seems to be totally in line with the, the posted numbers and from that perspective everything looks fine however uh I guess because it was bought from a real camera store, it was more expensive, 37 euros. So again, price performance wise, it's not doing uh, quite as well. So what are the overall conclusions here? The overall conclusions is that surprisingly, this totally uh, no name battery is by far the best price performer and in terms of absolute performance it's totally in line with uh, what it what it says on the on the package so it, it clearly is in my opinion the best choice for uh, if you want to get at least if you want to get a third party battery all of the batteries are chipped uh, all of them show the power on in the camera window I can go here to this one for a second you can see here now I actually have one of the uh, third-party batteries in this camera here so so it works it, it shows the power and if we go to the menu system sorry not that one if we go to the menu here we can we can see that also from a Uh, wrong there we can see that you know it, it shows a serial number it shows the shot counts and, and it shows no degradation actually none of the even the oldest Olympus batteries showed uh, five green squares in, in this degradation space so, or this measure so, so they all seem to be in good quality so from this perspective there seems to be no uh, meaningful difference between third-party batteries and Olympus own batteries okay so I hope you found this interesting perhaps the main takeaway is that uh, third-party batteries can be very good have very good price performance uh, I certainly don't recommend in any way shape or form Patona and if you want to pay a lot for batteries then you buy the standard Olympus ones and not the third-party ones but then I guess perhaps you knew that already. Okay, so I, I hope you found this interesting. Uh, as I said, you know, it's winter outside, so there's going to be perhaps a few more camera corner win uh, videos here before we start to get into spring and perhaps some more boating material. But on the side, of course, there's a lot of videos about boating already. So, so please check out the site. Subscribe if you find camera information or boating in Finland in our videos. Interesting and hope to see you back on the channel soon again. See you.